And now we're gonna change to dark field. And so for dark field, uh, traditionally you use a filter that looks like this. And uh, actually I wanna show, uh, before we really get into it, I wanna show exactly what this filter is doing. So um, bear with me here. Take the slide out for a second, and I'm going to use our uh, condenser hemisphere of science, aka half of a ping pong ball. I'm just going to put this right over the condenser. Let's see, right there, is about right. And uh, I'm going to open and close the iris. I just want you guys to see what's going on with the light field as I open and close the iris. So here I'm closing it opening it and closing it and opening it and so as I open and close the iris what I'm actually doing is uh, opening and closing a cone of light that is going to go hit the specimen and this concept of having this iris this this flat piece that moves and it's like a circle that, that uh, squishes down and, and opens up uh, hey cyanophyte welcome in um, this idea of, of this, you have this, this obscuring circle that, that gets smaller and bigger uh, in, in a two-dimensional plane, the fact that that translates into this angular uh, difference uh, of, of your condenser light is super important uh, for understanding uh, microscope optics in like a really high-level way. So. What I want to show you is the effect of putting in a dark field filter. So I'm going to swing out the filter holder here. I'm going to put it in the filter. And I'm going to swing it back into place. And so what you can see is that basically the uh, there's now a cone. There's now a, a section in the middle of, of this, this light cone now uh, that's in shadow. And you can see that that's the light that would go directly into uh, the lens. And so that's all the dark field filters are doing, is just obscuring the light that was gonna go directly into the lens. And that light that was gonna go directly into the lens is what causes the bright field uh, that we see. But um, now that we're removing that, we're gonna be left with a dark field instead. So, give me a moment. And here we are. Now we have a dark field. And let me change my ISO settings back to manual. And dark field is probably like the first technique, the first, you know, quote unquote advanced technique uh, that anybody learns in microscopy. And it's probably the one that most people stick with after they learn it. Um, because it really is uh, a very striking technique. Uh, obviously, you get a very high contrast. Um, and uh, now there, there's a lot of good reasons to use it, honestly. Um, the, the only drawback, I'll say, to dark field uh, is that similarly to uh, closing down your iris a whole lot, uh, it can kind of wash out specimens that have color to them. Stentrocorilius in particular looks very strange. It looks kind of purple, kind of weirdly purple in dark field. Um, but thick stuff like this, this hydro, will show up nice and green. So uh, one thing that's really important for uh, dark field is uh, you want your condenser always to be uh, as close to the slide as possible and you want your iris to be all the way open. If you close your iris down too much, you'll block out all the light. Um, so you always just want it to be wide open, essentially. And uh, yeah, dark field, man. I mean, it's a classic, you get imagery like this. And I will say uh, that when you look through the eyepieces, generally speaking, dark field in the background is gonna look a little bit more like very dark gray than like black black like this. Uh, the, 
the, the super blackness, spinal tap blackness, um, generally comes from uh, how you set up your, your, your camera. Uh, but you can do that on the iPhone, I show that in, the, in that video as well. And um, so let's see, if I go to 20X, okay. So Cyanophyte, if you're ever seeing stuff that looks like this, um, so right now I, I went to my, oh, I gotta be on top of this too. Um, I went to my 20X and this is actually funny. It kind of looks like phase contrast. Uh, this, is, this is a special type of illumination. Um, when, you, when you fail to do a dark field, you produce what's called circular oblique illumination, um, which sometimes can give really good results. It's actually not bad right now. Um, but the issue here is that the uh, the patch, the dark field patch, isn't quite uh, aligned. And, it, and if it's aligned and you still get that, then uh, it's not big enough. So here, I just moved it a little bit. So I can kind of bring this out just a slight bit. So again, there's that gray and then there's the black that you'd expect. Um, but then if I go to 40X, and this is where it's notoriously difficult to get dark field. Now I'm, I'm getting uh, circular oblique again. So dark field generally, um, is easiest to get. You can get it up to 40x. It's just really tricky. You've got to get the uh, the annulus or the or the, the, the patch it has to be just the right size. Um, but uh, it can be done. So um, again, just to, to recap on, on dark field. Uh, you know, the, the whole idea is, is just, you're, you're putting a patch in there that's blocking light that's gonna go directly into the camera. And, uh, and, and that's why the, the background is dark because the light that's going directly uh, into, the, into the lens, the objective lens, uh, is the light that's not being manipulated by a, a sample or something. And uh, so knowing that, then you could think, well, hey, it doesn't have to be black. I could theoretically filter that light instead. And uh, so now I'm going to switch over to something called a Reinberg filter. And here we are with uh, one of people's favorite effects, the blue background. And uh, it's one of my favorite effects too. It always reminds me of the aquarium. And this filter, I'll just uh, show it, is very similar to the dark field filter, except instead of a dark patch, we have a blue patch. And that blue patch is actually from, uh, it's two stacked up pieces of an Aquafina uh, water bottle label and uh, so that's all you need and, and the Aquafina label really does work really well it's very deeply saturated um, so I highly recommend uh, going out getting yourself uh, maybe a, a, a couple of one liter bottles of Aquafina and getting the labels off of them uh, it's a great filter material and um, so again, this will work generally down to 20. There we go. These are uh, Gomphonema, I believe. Okay, um, one more thing I wanted to show. So I, I talked earlier that like you, uh, 40X, it's difficult to get dark field and kind of the same thing applies for uh, Reinbergs and whatnot. Um, and so if I go to the 40X here, uh, you can see there is a sort of a blue tint, um, but it's not quite right. Um, but I do actually have one that I kind of 
precisely made. And you can see it's not even really that precise, but um, it's basically just a bigger patch. Uh, and, and I sized it uh, just right such that uh, it will work at uh, 40x. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. This one's a little squirrely. So cyanophyte, yeah, uh, you you can do that. And uh, so, that's, so that's more of an advanced Reinberg filter. Um, but, uh, you know, right now the color is clear, essentially. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you use another color, you will, uh, instead of projecting, illuminating these subjects with white light, you'll illuminate them with whatever color light uh, you want. And, uh, and of course, you don't have to use blue all the time. Uh, there are other colors besides blue. Oops. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't have any fingernails. So here, I'm using a red filter. Yeah, pink with dark field, for sure. So for this one, just a red dot filter. Uh, and you can buy these Reinberg filters on eBay and stuff. Uh, you gotta figure out which diameter you have for your filter holder. Um, but uh, you can also make them yourself with um, photo gels on Amazon. You can buy those for real cheap. And so that's what I usually do. But this is always fun. It's a nice up. So let's see, I've got uh, red in there. I can put a blue on top of that. We've got purple. Oh my goodness, look at this. So I like I like purple, especially when you're looking at green stuff. You still over here? Yeah, check this out. Purple and green with the Hydra. Pretty cool. <laughs> 